What's poppin? Welcome back to BRB Report. And it's raining, guys. It's back to Seattle weather. The sunshine is all gone. <laughs> yes, but you know, since it's Washington, we gotta persist in doing our errands. Yeah. So today we are headed to Costco. Well, we are here, as you can tell. Oh, yes, we're here. <laughs> so we're gonna. We didn't start it outside because it's raining. So we'll show you, we need to stock up on more, you know, the, the usual and we'll see what else other things we pick up. We're trying to take it a chill day and go get some Mexican food again from Senor Taco, which I'm so excited. And maybe do a little bit more Target runs, I don't know, depending what else we need. So we'll come along, join us. Oh, it's all wet. <laughs> <laughs> Like you want to find you a giant TV that does not fit in our apartment. <laughs> that TV is as big as our apartment. I know. <laughs> looking everywhere for some granola bars because sometimes we just want to grab like a quick little snack out the door so we're not starving. Yeah. And then we're going to go get lunch or some actual food. So we're trying to decide which one to get that is like not too unhealthy but still yummy so i've had these because my sister has gotten them and they're, they're good but they're a little bit on the not so chewy side and these seem a little bit chewier mm -hmm. and they have two flavors so maybe that one. that one okay <laughs> we're gonna try this one out guys as you know they always move everything around in costco so we're like lost don't we know where anything is more than you came for we are heading to Senor Taco, that place that we went last time. And we're going to get a burrito and sada fries because we're going to put it in half in both. We're kind of full because we had late lunch at Costco. It's been raining nonstop the whole day. I think this is the first day since we got here to Bellevue that it's been raining all day long. So I'm bringing a jacket now because I didn't bring one earlier to Costco and I learned my lesson. Um, I don't really know what this outfit is, but it's fine. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> <it out. laughs> this is repellent, but ye, we'll show you the, the trip. <laughs> I don't know, I just felt like running really fast all the way down the hall <laughs> to see how it would look on camera. It's probably gonna look all shaky. Oh, that got me out of breath. That was fun, haven't ran in a while. <laughs> Elevator rise with Bailey. This is how she look. It's big. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get everything, Bailey? Uh, tell us, tell us. Shoes from mom. From mom, Chris's. Pants from Airy. Oh no. American Eagle. Shirt from Nord. No. Madewell sale section. <laughs> Jacket from Uniqlo. And purse. Purse from the one and only Target. <laughs> and mask. Mask from Old Navy. Hey, check <laughs> it out. You now you know if you want to copy this mom look. <laughs> you can get you know it. where to get those. <laughs> to cactus the other day and I got that really yummy mango like agua fresca that was like spicy so I got inspired to start making our own like mocktails and we did a pineapple lime we added a puree of pineapple and pineapple salty water and lime salty water cut up some limes threw some mint and mixed it up let it sit for like a few hours and added some agave too so you guys want to see our setup right here and i'm gonna add a few little bit of peppers to my cup <laughs> guys isn't this an embarrassment of a burrito like look at my hand this is like for it's a really box. small it looks kind of big on the camera but honestly it's, it's so tiny small. it's tiny look at my hand it's like <laughs> not at all and then we've got some masada fries here so yeah we're kind of disappointed on the size of the burrito because we asked for no lettuce that's the only thing because 
like lunch and not being a burrito. We were thinking of being like Karens and like going and like arguing, but we're like, no, we're just tired. We're just gonna go home. And <laughs> plus we're not too hungry anyway. So that's our dinner for tonight. <laughs> We are at TJ Maxx because this year he's looking for some new clothes. Yes, I need to update my top wardrobe I've said been mentioning in the past vlogs. So hopefully I can find something good today. Look at this thing. I think that's your color. That's my color, right? <laughs> Uh, One item that's a yes. That's a maybe. A maybe. A maybe. TJ Maxx did not work out. There was like nothing. Everything was practically yeah. wiped out. I think everyone just did a new spring wardrobe. So everything was gone. So we're going to go to Target to find some just a few miscellaneous things. And I'll take a look at the clothes section there too, just in case they have anything. here and nothing promising so we're just gonna put our leftover items on our list we went we to the other target the other day um the small one that are at our apartment and we couldn't find everything there because they don't carry like as much as a big target so that's why we're here we are looking for a food thermometer now because we've been you know making dinner getting along fine like but every time we make like chicken, we are like so scared that it's gonna be raw. And we're like the pink is not like how <laughs> how do we know if it's cooked? So we're like, oh we should just get a food thermometer to ensure that it's fully cooked. So <laughs> that is what we're scavenging for now. Hopefully you find this. That will make life much easier. So there's like so many to choose from. So we have no idea which one to pick. <laughs> What do you think, Haley? Um... Oh, this one says meat thermometer. So you just like insert it and it tells you. But then I don't know if the digital ones are better or this one. We'll see. We're going to keep you posted. Deliberate a little. <laughs> After much thought, we have decided on this one. Yes, so it's cool because it folds out and you can stab your chicken or meat. Yeah. Read the temperature. They all pretty much seem like they work the same, like they operate the same way. So they're like, this one's cold because it folds. Um, yeah. And it's stainless steel, so it's pretty. Steel. It won't like rust or anything if you wash it. Yeah. So winner winner chicken dinner. <laughs> we came over to Nordstrom Rack, which is next door to TJ Maxx in the shopping center. So let's give it a try. Trying to see if we find any, any good stuff here. We decided to try on a few items at Nordstrom Rack and for reasons that we will not mention, um, we did not show you guys the fits. <laughs> it was terrible guys, everything <laughs> looked so bad. It was not, it was not a look. It was very much not a look, so <laughs> we're gonna go either home and wait till we're hungry or go get food. <sighs> That was so sad. It like, was really sad. I am feeling that that disappointed in uh, clothing. Yeah. Like we couldn't find anything really, so I think we got kind of desperate at the end. <laughs> Just like grabbing we were like, whatever. Yeah, this might look good. Um, it was not. It was like so big. It was giant. Because <laughs> there was like nothing in the junior section, so I went to the women's section and bad idea. You know, when you're like in your early twenties and you're like, you don't know what to buy. Like you're like, I'm not a junior, but. Not I don't like really a want mom like yet. yeah. <laughs> so that's that's what happened. One day we'll find you some new clothes. <laughs> we came to Petco because we we're disappointed about the clothes, so we were like, let's go see some cute animals, some kittens. We're trying to look and see if they have cats, but it look like I don't know. Cats some cats fish. Well, that's where it would be, but yeah. I don't have any. Yeah. Oh, it's COVID. Oh, yeah. Sad. Y'all okay? Y'all look dead. Why are they here? Why are they combined such a little thing? 
Disappointment part two. <laughs> Found no animals in this part. <laughs> Some ugly fish. <laughs> This restaurant, what is it called? It's called Stone. Stone Korean restaurant, and it's our first time eating Korean food since we moved from the Bay Area. Yeah, so we are excited to try some food. I'm quite hungry. This is a lot of food. <laughs> Baby really likes tapche, so we got a tapche. I've now tried to share, but this thing's like a like full entree. It's like, it's just a lot. And then I got the kanji, and we got the stone pot with pork. Boom, boom, ba. Got the sides. Woohoo! eating our ice cream and that's gonna be it for this week's vlog by the way it was absolutely delicious it was exquisite i got a yeti sweet cream ice cream i got cookie dough ice cream but it had also like cinnamon and oatmeal and something else in it it was really good and their waffle bowls were so yummy Listen, i think that's going to be our new ice cream spot from now on here in washington yeah so. it's called molly moons so that'll be it for us and remember we'll brb in the next video <laughs>